Hey, future respiratory therapist. I got another video here for you. This one comes from Eugeo2463. The question is simply this. I understand time trigger in volume control and pressure control, but I'm confused on why time is the cycle in PRVC. So we're going to explain this because when you start talking about cycle versus trigger, this stuff can kind of get confusing, right? So we first of all need to identify and define those terms. Trigger is what starts the breath, okay? Just like if you were to shoot a gun, you would pull the trigger to start the firing action, right? So trigger starts inhalation. Cycle is the mechanism that ends inspiration. So the ventilator is a really smart, dumb machine. So it needs to know when do I start the breath and then when do I stop the breath and allow exhalation to end. In every mode, in every single mode, there is a trigger and there is a cycle. Something that starts the breath and something that ends the breath. Now I can simplify this for you real quick. Trigger is one of three things. It's either time triggered it's either pressure triggered or it's flow triggered. Now I said three, time, pressure, or flow. Time refers to every mechanical ventilatory breath, mechanical ventilation breath. If the vent is giving a breath, it's going to give it based off of a time trigger. Now the second component of that is, is that if the patient wants to initiate a breath, it's going to go from time trigger to either pressure or flow. So in any given mode, SIMV, AC, any mode where you have the ventilator giving a breath and you have a patient asking for a breath, there's going to be two types of trigger. The ventilator breaths are controlled by time, triggered by time. The patient initiated breaths are triggered by pressure or flow, depending on which sensitivity mode you have set. Okay, so that's trigger. Now, when we talk about cycle, it gets a little more complicated because you have to ask yourself, am I in volume control or am I in pressure control? Well, if you're in volume control, then your cycle is volume. The delivered breath is delivered, and if you, let's say you have a tidal volume of 400 milliliters set. The 400 milliliters is delivered, the vent cycles off, exhalation happens. It's that simple. Now when you go into pressure modes of ventilation, the tendency for students is, is that I say, this is where it typically goes. Tell me the cycle mechanism in volume control. You say volume. I say you're right. I say what's the cycle mechanism in pressure control? Pressure. But that's not right. That's incorrect. Because think about it. If the, if the cycle was pressure in pressure control, then what you would see is a waveform that looks like this. You got your peep setting. The breath starts. It reaches a preset pressure. And then it drops down. But we know that that's not a pressure controlled breath. Pressure controlled breaths look like this. You're going along, time trigger happens, pressure goes up, pressure holds, pressure comes down, wait for the next breath. So we don't get this rise like a mountain where it reaches the preset pressure and then cuts off. That would be pressure cycle. But pressure modes of mechanical ventilation Operate, I'm going to erase this because this looks more like an IPPB breath, right? Hey, if you're still using IPPB, put a comment in the, in, the, in the video below. I want to know how many regions of this world are still utilizing IPPB. After all these years with all the new technology, I just want to know, you're probably, how many of you are still learning it in school? How about, let's do that. How many of you are still learning it in school but not seeing it in practice? How many of you are learning it in school and still seeing it in practice? If you're learning IPPB but never seeing it in practice, I want to know. I also want to know who's still seeing it. Okay, because I would like to know where IPPB is still in use. 
So, because IPVB is the perfect example of a pressure cycled ventilator. You set the pressure on the side of the machine, you say 20 centimeters of water pressure, the patient triggers the IPVB machine on, pressure rises, it reaches 20, and it cuts off. Exhalation begins. That's pressure cycled. That is not what pressure control or PRVC operate off of. They operate off of a time cycle, which means increase the pressure to the set pressure limit and then hold for a set I time. So your cycle mechanism is I time. Now when students tell me, I say, what's the cycle mechanism in pressure control? They tell me time. I typically say be more specific and then they say I time. And I do that in regards to this type of question in itself to eliminate the confusion between how is time a trigger but also a cycle? How is time a trigger but also a cycle? It is because this ventilator who has no, no spontaneous breaths or no patient initiated breaths is waiting for the time. Let's say you're set on a respiratory rate of 20. Okay, 60 seconds divided by 20 breaths equals three seconds. That means every three seconds, there's another breath coming. The ventilator breaks it up into even increments. Oh, you want me to give 20 breaths? Then I will give 20 breaths. 60 divided by 20 is three seconds. Every three seconds, I shall give a breath. That's the ventilator thinking. Okay, it's a machine. It does things on patterns, on formulas. So when you tell it to give 20 breaths a minute, it's gonna give one every three seconds. If you tell it to give 10 breaths a minute, then it will give one 60 divided by 10 every six seconds. That's what makes it time triggered. Every six seconds, the inspiratory phase will start. It will go until the cycle and then exhalation begins until we reach the six second mark. Then it gives it again. Or if you're on a rate of 20, the three second mark. If you're on a rate of 15, then 60 divided by 15 is four seconds. So that's your trigger mechanism. When you talk about time being the trigger, you're talking about the mechanical ventilation, ventilator operating off of total cycle time based off the respiratory rate. Now when you talk about cycle, you have to understand that the cycle, what turns this breath off right here is your set eye time. Now, in pressure control, you set an eye time. So what the vent is going to do is give a breath, increase the pressure, hold it for how long? What's your eye time set on? One second? Then it's going to hold for one second. Is it set on 0.8 seconds? Then it holds for 0.8 seconds. Is it set on two seconds? then it holds for two seconds. But at the point in time when the I time has been reached, then your vent cuts off and exhalation begins. So that's the way time is both a trigger and a cycle. Now for you students, I recommend you to get in the habit of verbalizing it that way. What is on the machine side, on the ventilator side, what's the trigger in pressure control? Time, 100%. In pressure control, what's the cycle? In PRVC, what's the cycle? You set an I time. So what's the cycle? It's not just time, because that can be confused with the same time that you talked about with trigger. The time is specifically, or the cycle is specifically I time, inspiratory time, because you set it and the vent will cut off the inspiratory phase and go into exhalation at when the set I time has been reached. And then you have another timed breath, triggered breath coming, inspiratory phase begins, inspiratory phase lasts however long the I time is set, expiratory phase begins and the cycle or the, the pattern goes around and around and around. So the answer to your question, UGO, is simply 
Time triggered is based off of total cycle time. Time cycle is based off of I time, that which is set by you, the respiratory care practitioner. I hope this makes sense. Leave me lots of comments. Leave me any questions, any concerns. If it doesn't make sense, please follow up. And by all means, hit the subscribe button. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get some free informational videos. You can always come back and hit the unsubscribe button. But in the meantime, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Have a great day.